So you got to vote for Hillary Clinton because Supreme Court, right? You got to vote for Hillary Clinton because Donald Trump might become president and he might appoint uh, a, a helium monster. Or he might report, you know, he might he might appoint somebody like Scalia or Rehnquist, right? Or Alito, you know. Hey, we already had those guys on the Supreme Court and the country's still here. Anyway... I was reading McClatchy. Turns out, boom, WikiLeaks reveals Clinton considered a Texas Republican for the Supreme Court. You got to vote for Hillary. She, I know, I know. Remember when everybody was talking about, I remember this, I was on the Young Turks and we we're having a discussion about who she's going to pick for her vice president. Some people were saying Elizabeth Warren. Some people were saying she's going to pick Bernie. And I remember I made the prediction, not only is she not going to pr- pick a progressive as her vice president, the pick she makes will make you go crazy. And she did. She picked a guy who's to the right of her. Tim Kaine is right to work. He's for pro-TPP, and he's for more deregulation of Wall Street. He's Newt Gingrich. <laughs> and he's and he's anti-abortion in his own personal life. So that's who she chose for vice president. Who do you think she's going to pick to be on the Supreme frickin' court? WikiLeaks reveals they had already floated picking the ex-chief justice of the Texas Supreme Court because he was a minority. Here's what it said. Hours after... Con- the conser- what minority is he? Conservative Supreme Court. Uh, he looks Hispanic. He, he looks freckly. That's the only minority I see. Uh, but hours right. after Supreme Court Justice Ant- Antonin Scalia passed away, the Clinton campaign floated a Texan as a possible replacement. Wallace Jefferson, a former chief justice on the Supreme Court, was the subject of an email entitled Scalia Replacement, written by the president of a George Soros-backed grant-making organization. He sent that to John Podesta. And here's the email right here. It says, remember our discussion of Wallace Jefferson, chief justice in Texas? That was right after Scalia died. And John Podesta, yep, I certainly do remember that conversation. Texas Christian University politics professor Jim Riedelsberger said it's not surprising that Clinton's campaign lined up potential replacements for Scalia before his death, even if it comes off as unseemly. Riedelsberger said that the most surprising aspect of the email is that Clinton wouldn't consider Jefferson because he is a Republican. But you got to vote Hillary Clinton. Why? Because we're going to get more war, the TPP, more deregulations, uh, more more votes for, and we're going to get a Republican Supreme Court. So good for you guys. You're doing great work. This whole idea of voting for Hillary Clinton to stop Donald Trump. By the way, when people say we've been voting the lesser of two evils for the le- we haven't. Bill Clinton was the greater evil. Bill Clinton was a worse president than George Herbert Walker Bush would have been or Bob Dole. Bob Dole couldn't have gutted welfare, consolidated the media industry, deregulated Wall Street, and gutted welfare. Could not have done any of those things. Or pushed NAFTA. Heard George Herbert Walker Bush could not get NAFTA passed. It took a Democrat, just like a Democrat right now, is going to pass TPP. A Republican couldn't do it because the natural the Democrats would be a, a, a bound together against it. But just like Bill Clinton split the Democratic Party when he passed NAFTA, Brock Obama's trying to do the same thing, and Hillary Clinton does the same thing. They only Democrats could only pass horrible stuff that de- Republicans could only dream of. Republicans could only dream of passing NAFTA. They couldn't. It took a Democrat. They could only dream of ending the New Deal commitment to the poor. It took a Democrat to do it. They could only dream. They could only dream of codifying Bush's tax cuts for the wealthy permanently. It took a Democrat to do it. Barack Obama it took a Democrat to deregulate Wall Street. It's gonna. And here we go. So keep voting neoliberal and keep voting neoliberal because they're not even the lesser of two evil. They're the more evil.